Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 11th house, posited in the 8th house in the natal horoscope. Well, as most of you know, the 11th house is connected with aspirations, goals, objectives, friends, acquaintances, humanitarian efforts, uh, and I would I would say could also be connected with things uh, that are, I guess you could say, that can be somewhat uh, esoteric. It is connected uh, with Aquarius, so I do see it uh, as that, um, that you can have a connection as far as that goes. If you look at the 8th house, it's connected with sex, death, uh, taxes, transformation, regeneration, uh, Insurance is connected with this, uh, others, resources, inheritances, and uh, anyway, I think the first thing uh, you can look at is that since the 11th house is connected with friends, uh, the person that has this placement might have uh, friends that take on like a Scorpio-like quality since we're, you know, talking about the 8th house uh, with this and and you might have friends that are very mysterious, have interests in astrology, uh, cult-related matters. Um, they might have friends that are incisive, that have a, a probing uh, nature, that are secretive, uh, intense. If we look at uh, this placement, uh, 11th house is connected with goals and aspirations, so perhaps this the person with this placement, um, some of their goals, aspirations may uh, be connected with the uh, eighth house related fields such as astrology, occult, uh, psychology, uh, perhaps um, working in some kind of police investigation, uh, working in insurance, um, perhaps uh, look at um, this placement um, as well. Uh, this could be somebody whose aspirations, I guess we could say quote-unquote, can be covert, can be very concealed and hidden. This person might not like to divulge their aspirations to um, people, a lot of people. Um, their humanitarian side may come out through um, sexual uh, relationships. Their esoteric um, side may come out in, in these relationships. The sexual partners may um, see the uniqueness very strongly. Uh, in this person. Um, this person might bring an interest in computers, electronics, innovation into their into uh, sexual uh, relationships. Uh, they might look to see their friends as kind of a life and death um, kind of thing where you know, the friends could be taken in a very serious um, serious manner uh, with no middle ground they either like, they really like a friend, or maybe this person may not really like <laughs> um, some of them. Well, I guess they wouldn't be friends then at the same time, but I think you know what I'm saying. Um, we'll look at the displacement of the ruler of the 11th house and the 8th house. Um, you could show that maybe their aspirations may go through some kind of transformation, some upheaval some changes. And look at the 11th house also connected with human rights, uh, social reform. Uh, this can be maybe some interest there or between these, these uh, interests maybe or and or maybe their uh, you know, friends aspirations might have some kind of transforming effect on this person might cause this person to make a, a really um, prodigious change in his or her life. Uh, we look at this uh, placement in the 11th house um, is connected with um, with their friends, with their acquaintances. Um, perhaps friends, acquaintances might play a role maybe in um, as far as um, maybe impacting this person on matters that are connected with um, with sex and death, they might play a role in indoctrinating this person's uh, viewpoints. 
indoctrinating their viewpoints to this person uh, on these matters. Uh, we see that this person uh, that has this uh, that has this placement um, can bring a very um, humanitarian uh, nature to sexual um, relationships to their um, matters that are I guess you can say um, that are connected um, with their I guess you could say their um, sexual partner they might see um, they look at their friends they look at their um, acquaintances as um, people that can be seen as I guess you could say that are that are very intense there might be their up their friendships might go through many uh, fluctuations and upheavals during the course of his or her life well anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for the ruler of the 11th house posited in the 8th house in the natal horoscope stay tuned next time where i'll be dissertating and talking about the ruler of the 11th house in the 9th house in the natal chart two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, not just one. Until next time, people stay well.